Two in three black people don't feel properly represented in media. That's according to a 2020 National Research Group study. As a news organization, we have been doing the sometimes unflattering introspective work to see how our reporting contributes to harmful stereotypes. People don't feel they see themselves in local network newscasts in Denver. Well, where do they go? Thousands are turning to Brother Jeff's podcast. Run it up and wiggle, wiggle to, to another, another spot. spot. Run it up. Just wiggle to another spot. Shay J, you've been running it up. And I've been wiggling to other spots. <laughs> it sounds different, looks different, but this is as much a newscast as the 10 o'clock news. Cleats, we had a cleat sports bar, that's gone. We had do rods, that's gone. I mean, the list goes Welcome on. Welcome Street Cafe. And on. About to be gone. But they're they're in a reiteration, but aren't like when they say, well, if you save businesses, that's like socialism, like you you save the auto industry. <laughs> you, you save, save who you, you want save to them save airlines. When you want to save them. It can't be too hard to help one black business. You would think. That's an institution. You would think. In a city changing by the day, neighborhood institutions losing the battle of corporatization. Shay J, welcome to town. Why are you in town this weekend? Celebrating community in Denver comes in the form of a podcast on Fridays. Yes! It's necessary because if you don't tell your story, someone else will. The way we are consumed in a broader perspective is through violence, crime, deficit, um, and then at best, Juneteenth, Black Arts Festival, Kwanzaa. There's nothing else in between. Jessie's going to do five months. You think she's going to do five months? Not at all. She Why won't. Not? Standing in the gap, Denver natives and community journalists Shay J and Brother Jeff. I like your passion. I want you to be the <laughs> spokesperson. Use their podcast to reach those who are interested in points of view you can't always find on channels 9, 4, 7, and 31. But there's so much beauty in our community that can be shared um, to highlight our tragedies uh, seems to be a norm across the country, and, and we have a counterbalance to that. Sometimes that means asking the questions no one else is asking. I'm like, no, today this script is this, and this is what we need to talk about because our community needs us. We're the community voice. Uh, well. You might remember this cringeworthy, defining moment in the 2019 mayoral race that made its way to next with Kyle Clark. Do you know about the NAACP? Just clear that for the people yes. that you know about the NAACP. Absolutely. Okay. What does it mean? National African American. No. <laughs> You're gonna test me on this. And I've said, why are you why are you running for office? But I've never seen you in community. What are we talking about? Shay J says it's not that the mainstream media gets it wrong. It's just <laughs> not always the full picture. I've heard someone say, you know, I didn't think that anyone cared that my son got killed until you talked to me. And so you open up the conversation. So it's necessary because I know how many stories die and we get to be the place that gives it a little bit more light. We get to shed some community on it. We get to wrap our arms around you, and we get to do it our way. No, I just want to read something for you real quick, and because you, you, you're probably right. The energy, the lingo, the love, it's tailored, but not exclusive. If you have a cell phone or a smartphone or something that has more power than anything probably in the annals of time, in the hands of ordinary individuals, it has totally changed what journalism, storytelling, and news media is. Bronco Country, get ready, because we're going to be back on our <laughs> winning streak. Russell Wilson will be right here in the Mount High City. All we really care about is we're getting Sierra. So Sierra. you guys stay tuned for more. Raw, real, unfiltered. Hmm. And if you're black in Denver, an opportunity to see yourself the way you want to be seen. Rumble on, rumble on. We love y'all. <laughs> The Brother Jeff podcast has been running for four years, no signs of slowing down. You can catch it live every Friday at 2 p.m. and you'll find a link in this story on 9news.com. But we really have do been doing some of that introspective work with the 9 News Listens events. Sure. Just hearing from people, what do you want to see? How do you want to see yourself represented in news stories? And it's really interesting, we're approaching 70 years as a station, right? Our 70 year anniversary and we're reaching out to viewers who uh, had been watching for decades and that is a very diverse group. People yeah. from all walks of life and neighborhoods yeah. trust us to tell them the news. So the onus is on us for sure to ensure that we're doing stories that represent all facets, facets of life in Denver. And I think that's what that story did. It was the in-between, not Kwanzaa, mm -hmm. not death and destruction, 
but the in between. Yeah. And, that's and, and so important. I mean, it's so important these days. When I came out of journalism school, you got your news from the newspaper or TV or radio. Right. That was it. Right. Mm -hmm. Now you get your news everywhere, right? Yep. So right here on the phone right. when you wake up. Yep. So we've got to be in those spaces this is, too. This is just uh, another example of that and an important one for sure. I like what he said. You know, if you're not going to tell your story, someone else is. There and so go. good for them. And they, they're they super fun. She is great. Isn't yeah. she? I love oh that she's like, gosh. we just care about Sierra. Yes. <laughs> Which is awesome. true. <laughs> Honesty. Uh, great story. Thanks yeah, for thank that. You.